Hello guys, this is Kieran with Explorminate, and uh, welcome to another Let's Showcase video of Shallow Space. Now, uh, this is going to be showing off Update 7, which isn't all that old. Uh, within a week ago, I can give you a specific date from when I'm recording here, but uh, pretty new. Um, right here we have the new ship shown off. I like, I like how they've started doing this. Uh, this is the Blackbird. Uh, it's its nickname. I don't remember the exact ship's name. We'll look at that in a second. But essentially, it's the Blackbird. It's got some missile pods here, some missile pods there, and it's a pretty cool looking ship. I mean, overall. Um, now you might be asking yourself, missiles? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Well, so missiles is a new kind of weaponry that has been added to the game, which is really cool. Um, I like the dynamic more than if they would have just added a, uh, you know, they have kinetic and energy damage right now I like a different type of weapon as opposed to just like throwing in like energy kinetic and like oh plasma's already something but you get what I'm saying right I, I think that's a more interesting way to take the design at least right now so uh, let's look at this guy the blackbird battlecruiser oh it's just blackbird oh my bad all right so it is a battlecruiser no so just like the homin so we now have two battlecruisers which is cool um it's got four turret positions. Uh, launcher, you actually just cram it full of ammo. And then it's got room for a shield and some support modules. So let's go ahead and uh, arm this puppy up real quick. Throw some different... Uh, ooh. It's kind of cool. He's a black bird. Oh, also, I should mention this. You know, uh, you see this, like, seamless switching. Oh, that is hideous. Uh, between colors. Uh, so one of the things with update seven, they noticed that the game was on average using like five or five, I think five and a half gigs of RAM, which is a lot. Uh, so they went through and spent some time optimizing, and it really shows. Um, not that the game was like laggy per se before, but I've noticed some stability improvements. So that's a nice like quality of life improvement. Um, but let's not get distracted from the. Um, oh man, there's, I got to talk about this too. Okay, we'll come back to this. Let's go to, uh, just ignore that they have these awesome buttons here for a second. Let's let's get to the missiles. Let's get back to the Blackbird. So you have these two different kinds of missiles right now. you got Avenger and Starburst. And this is how many missiles you got. 8, 16, 24, obviously, of either type. And they're essentially the same thing. They're a guided uh, weapon. Um, they, can they can target large and capital and stations, so it's basically anything but your little... Uh, fighters that come out of the uh, battleships at least at this point and they're all kinetic damage which I think is interesting um, uh, it'll be inter uh, I hope they include like a photon esque weapon or something if that makes sense uh, it would be really cool to like bombard your enemy from afar knock their shields down but uh, regardless these guys are, are pretty strong the main difference between the missiles is their range. So you notice the Starburst, they're 120 to 260 kilometers compared to 130 to 300. So significant higher damage. Uh, these do travel faster, the ones with the Avengers, the missiles with the longer range, which is nice. They travel a little faster because they're going a bit further. Uh, and to put those range in comparison, the laser, you've got 55 kilometer max to a 43 kilometer max. So um, that's pretty significant. Also, uh, kind of an interesting thing with the missiles, you know, just their minimum range is 120 kilometers. That's uh, that's that's pretty far. Um, I know my battleship tra tends to travel less than 100 meters a second, but but still, um, these guys have to be pretty far off if they want to use their missiles. Now, they they can be fitted with weapons, um, just like anything else. But if I were to throw in these right here. I'm now going to have a bunch of missiles, right? Uh, so that's armed, ready to go. Exciting, right? Uh, I, I think it is. We'll show this off here in a moment. Um, well, you know what I mean by a moment. After I talk about all this other stuff, I'm, I'm pretty psyched for. So uh, you know, so far we've got the Blackbird cruiser missiles, both awesome. Faster running, you know, a little optimized, so a nice quality of life. Uh, perhaps even better, though. List. You can uh, switch right here. This list is cool. So uh, this is what we've had before, 
this is a new mo a new way to look at things. Uh, when I saw the screenshots for the update, this is probably what I was most excited about, uh, just because it's it's pretty dang useful. Um, so it shows you like their size, the damage per second that they do, and then that's their range, minimum range, I think. Yeah, minimum range, exactly. Look at that. Look at me. Um, but beyond that, so you have all right here. This is what we've been used to. Very busy, kind of, I mean, not, not overly confusing. But finally, you can sort it by turret weapons, fixed weapons, missiles, and support modules. Now, you notice if we go to fixed weapons, there's nothing. That's not because they took off the fixed weapons out of the game, no. Um, that's because the ship doesn't have any fixed weapon points. So it does automatically sort it for the ship, which makes sense. I don't think there's any reason to need to see, um, I guess, it's, well, it's just something you can't fit in your ship, right? Um, anyways, let's take these off real quick. So we look at the default cost of a uh, Blackbird is 730 compared to the 660 of a Hellman Battlecruiser. And last video uh, in the simulation we demonstrated that the um, Hellman Battlecruisers are pretty uh, potent. At least I think they are. You know, they had to be debuffed. Um, but we'll show off the Blackbirds. And uh, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm, I've am i played around with them a bit. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't come to these videos cold turkey or anything. But I'm still not like 100% sure how I'm supposed to be using them, right? Um, I know how to use them, but I don't know if I'm using them right. But it's a fun new challenge. Uh, so also, we notice right here we have a list of weapon platforms. You're like, wait, weapon platforms? What the heck is a weapon platform? Well, this is a weapon platform. It's got itself uh, 400 health and whatnot, and we can put some shield hardeners on it. La, give it that nice green when it gets hit. And then let's say we want to put some Gatling guns on it. Yay, we got Gatling guns. Uh, and then this is a different kind of weapon platform. This one, though, with extra large weapon fittings. So we'll put an extra large Gatling gun and an extra large Gatling gun. Look at that. And those do tremendous amounts of damage. Let's look at those real quick. Uh, 15 health per second, not bad. For uh, Those are rail guns. Um, minimum range, pretty good, but... Uh, yeah, I haven't actually figured out how to use these yet, really. But uh, it's it's cool to um, to see, I guess, like a little sneak peek of things to come. Well, we know that this game will have more features than just like pre-created fleets with it uh, from roadmaps from the developers and such. So this is kind of a neat sneak peek just to see. Uh, I mean, these things don't have a lot of health, but th that would pack a, a pretty serious punch with. Uh, these essentially doing uh, fifteen, yeah, fifteen hits a second. I mean, that's not that's not bad. That's gonna that could be enough to tear into a ship or scare you off from fighting, right? Like any defense. So, uh, so there's that. So, uh, kind of a lot of quality of life additions, maybe in comparison to the the last update. You know, update six gave us uh, the, both the simulation and the Hellman battlecruiser and the Nottingham battleship, and this one we got the Blackbird battle cruiser um, and missiles so you know you count that as like two compared to three like uh, big features uh, but but in reality like there's a lot of quality of life stuff uh, which is great uh, that they're paying attention to that sometimes with early access games especially that this is still like considered an alpha um, I, I think that quality of life stuff just goes like by the wayside like oh it doesn't matter we're just got to get development done because um, you know that does cut into development time uh, so it's nice that they're refining that process now. So the game, uh, the game isn't unplayable. I'm not saying that, but uh, it it's just easier to play, more fun, right? Um, less of a clunky experience. We've all experienced that with early access and whatnot. So uh, anyhow, so let me jump one more thing. Go back here. I love this loading screen. The warp and boom. Let's go to skirmish real quick. Do assault. Muster. We're just gonna pretend to do us all. We're not actually gonna do this. So, boom. I don't think I've talked about this before. Um, and uh, to be honest, I, I didn't go back and, and look when this was added. But you can pre-make pre-make fleets, which is nice. So they have some here for you. You can see. Uh, but 
my update 7 fleet. Uh, this is what we'll be skirmishing with. And I'll, I'll go through this at the beginning. Well, I'll just do it now. Um, so we've got our Nottingham Battlecruiser with just some uh, battleships. Excuse me. Um, the big boy with all the guns. The in-your-face, as I call it. A uh, bunch of just little um, cruisers, mixed destroyers, two homing battle cruisers. We've got this guy right here. I call him the uh, Eye of the Bird, I believe. What did, what did I actually name him? Yeah, Eyes of the Birds. Uh, the, the Blackbirds is what I'm talking about here. So the Blackbirds' range is immense. You know, 300 kilometers. They don't scan that far. Not Nothing close to that. Um, so these guys basically go out and look for a target for these guys to hit and blow up. So that's, that's how that will work. Um, at least that's how I'm going to try to make it work. Um, because, again, you know, these guys' minimum range is kind of... Uh, it's not very minimal. It's a pretty large minimum range. Uh, and maybe they c he can also just scout ahead in the main fleet. So I don't want these guys to have to fight everything on their own. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a 1,900-point uh, fight. And uh, going to see what happens uh, if I can pull through and, and complete the objectives. But uh, that's that's showcasing the features for... Um, update 7 and uh, next video we'll get right in there and show off the combat um, with the new uh, Blackbird so thanks for watching guys uh, and I hope you enjoyed the video leave questions uh, below I'll, I'll try to get back to those um, but you know, I, if you have questions about the game feel free to ask but uh, always feel free to like go jump over to the, the developers forums I'm sure they could answer a lot more than I could but uh, we'll see you next video, and thanks for watching.